Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, you're going to learn all about Google Signals and cross-device reports in Google Analytics. Enabling Google Signals gives you access to insights into how your audience engages with you using multiple devices. For example, you can understand if people find your website using their mobile device and then later convert on their desktop. Google Signals uses anonymous data from people's ad personalization preferences on Google, which means there's no extra code or implementation required, apart from enabling the feature inside Google Analytics. We'll cover privacy considerations, how to enable the reports, and ways you can use the reports to inform your marketing. Let's get started. To access cross-device reports, we need to enable Google Signals. To do this, you'll need edit permission in Google Analytics. From the admin area, we select Tracking Info, and then Data Collection. Now we can see the option to enable Google Signals at the top of the page. Let's click Get Started. Now we click Continue. and we're given details about activating Google Signals. It's important to highlight that Google Signals uses anonymous data from users who are logged into their Google account. Since people can be logged into their Google account across their different devices, this data is then used to create the reports in Google Analytics. It's important to check your privacy policy before enabling Google Signals. Google has specific requirements when using Google Signals and other Google Analytics advertising features. Your privacy policy will need to tell people about the features you've implemented, the use of cookies and identifiers, and how people can opt out of being tracked. And I also recommend checking your own local requirements too. For example, you might have additional obligations if your business is located in the EU, or you have EU-based users on your website. I've included links to Google's resources in the description below this video. When you're ready to activate Google Signals, you can choose if you want to activate the reports for all the properties in your Google Analytics account or specific properties. Then we just need to click Activate and we'll begin to collect data into the reports. You'll find the reports under Audience and Cross Device. There are four reports. They are Device Overlap, Device Paths, Channels and Acquisition Device. This is the device overlap report. We can see people who are using multiple devices before converting. We can see users who are using a desktop and mobile, a mobile and tablet, and a desktop and tablet in order to convert. The device paths report shows us people's path to conversion. We can see people using a single device at the top of the report, but then we can also see people traveling between multiple devices. We might use this insight to tailor our strategy for mobile, increase our mobile budget and bids, or enable cross-device remarketing campaigns in Google Ads. The channels report allows us to understand the performance of our marketing channels across devices. And the acquisition device report shows us the devices people use when they find our website for the first time. So how can we use the cross-device reports? First, you'll need to check that you have enough data available from people logged into their Google accounts to use the reports. If you have a smaller scale website, then you might be out of luck since you need enough people with Google's ad personalization enabled to make the reports useful. If that's the case, then I recommend implementing user ID. I've included links in the description below this video to learn more about implementing user ID with Google Analytics. If you do have enough data in the reports, then I recommend starting by looking for device combinations and device paths that have a higher than expected conversion rate. These insights can help inform your marketing strategy. For example, if you find that mobile devices feature in people's path to conversion, then you can focus on mobile device targeting for your campaigns and testing ad variations that drive more mobile users to your website. You can also use the insights when running remarketing campaigns. For example, you could create ads on Facebook that target people who've already been to your website and are currently using a mobile device. So that's how you can use cross-device reports in Google Analytics by enabling Google Signals. If you have a smaller scale website, then you might not have enough users who have ad personalization enabled on Google. If this is the case, then I recommend taking the time to implement user ID. This lets you tie sessions together for users that you can identify on your website. I've included links to extra resources in the description below this video. 
If you want to learn more about Google Analytics, including the most important essentials for interpreting your reports, then check out my free Analytics Essentials course. You can find a link to the course in the description below this video. In the course, you'll learn how to navigate your reports, understand important terminology, how to measure conversions, and more. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course. Have you enabled Google Signals? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. See you next time.